Okay, welcome back. I will briefly talk about two different things. How to make a bigger map and how to color sheep using dye. First of all, I got I got poppy flowers. These are just random flowers I find. There's so many different types. Um, so whatever color it is is what it'll yield. So we got dandelions and poppies. Put a poppy in there. It's going to yield... Uh, red dye. Rose red. Denny lions. Denny lion yellow. So now I have some dye. And if I, I right click a sheep with it, we'll get to get, we can start, um, shearing some colored sheep. Check it out. Right click. Boom. Right click. Boom. All right. Simple as that. There are many other places to get dye, mostly flowers, but uh, the squids will give you uh, ink sacks. That's for black sheep. If you ever mate, for example, I have two wheat. If you know your color wheel, uh, red and white would make pink. So if we get a red bait, red, a red one to mate with a white one, we should have a pink baby. And. Come out, you. Yep, look at that. We got a pink one. See? And you can't share a pink, uh, you can't share a baby, a baby sheep. You have to let it grow first. But now we got four, we got different colors, so good way to mix and match. You can get creative and start building things with the color. You want, it gives you options for a lot more colors. Now that I've been growing more been growing more uh, I'm sorry I'm getting tired um, about to go to bed soon um, what's it called candy <laughs> candy uh, the sugar cane candy cane alrighty so I'm gonna take my map off map off the wall I want to keep that map on there just as a as a, as a frame but if you want to make a du I'm gonna make a duplicate map and this is how you do it so you gotta make a map like before make an empty map And if you guys remember how to do that, it's make a compass first. Okay, and then you gotta surround it by paper. Okay. Compass. Paper around. That's the empty map like before. And to make a duplicate, you're going to put them both on the same the map you have. Put the map here. And now you have two of the same map. Take it. you got two of the same map. One's going to stay here permanently as a photo. Let's move it. Um, somewhere, somewhere as a reminder. Right here's fine. And the other one is the one we can carry with us now as we travel. However, we're going to want to make it bigger. I probably should have waited before for me to have enough to start that. If you want to make it bigger, and I'll show that in the next video when I have more, you're going to put more paper around it. So the way we did paper around the compass, you're going to put paper around the map. And it basically zooms out the map, makes it makes what you have smaller so there's more area to cover. And then you have to go explore more. You can do that four times. I always like to do uh, zoom it out as much as possible, and then make a big map three by three. And I'll show you guys that later. Okay. I'll keep this one on me for now. Right now, it's kind of just a patience. I'm getting my garden started. I don't have all the materials I need to build things. I could. Make I could show you the map by taking this out, but I need to save this. I need, to, I need this to grow more. Okay. And that is about it I have for this. I'm trying to think of something else I could do since that was kind of a short video. I'm gonna make a um I'm gonna make another garden over here. I'm gonna hoe this dirt around the water and plant weed or something. So yeah. Mm. 
Well, I don't really know what to show you guys. I guess that was kind of a short video. All right. Thanks a lot.